for sure feel like it, it just was not my time. Tonight, an amazing story of survival and determination to live through one of the greatest tragedies to strike Louisville. This is Wave News at 6. I'm John Bowl. And I'm Myra Ansari. Dallas Schwartz was shot during the Old National Bank mass massacre and is now on a road to recovery. She shared her story with Wave News troubleshooter Natalia Martinez. It was a normal Monday morning, heading into work after Easter, doing all the things that we do before getting to the office. But it wasn't long after getting there that lives would be changed forever. The gunshots were scary, but the silent parts were even scarier. It's hard for Dallas Schwartz to talk about April 10th, the day a co-worker she knew shot her and killed five others. I'd only been there six weeks. So, you know, even in the six weeks, I know they're great people. Schwartz had started working at Old National Bank six weeks before. She was the first one shot. We spoke. He had safety glasses on and a gun in his hand and it still did not register anything to me. I mean, this was somebody I thought I knew. Schwartz was hit in the leg. She ran for safety, hiding in the bathroom, using her scarf as a tourniquet around her injured leg, trying to get through to 911, texting her husband and her mother. I, like, I remember having a vivid conversation in my head about the scarf. And like, I'm like, it's not really that cold. I don't need it. It was a big winter scarf, you know, like, but at the last minute, I threw it around my neck and headed on into work. It was more than a sigh of relief to hear police once the gunfire stopped. Their quick actions, not only saving her life, but giving her a sense of safety, too. It was probably within like eight minutes from the time I text my mom saying, I think I can hear them. Eight minutes is all it took for them to get me in that am ambulance. Her gratitude for the first responders, the nurses, doctors, therapists, and everyone else on her road to recovery is the reason for this interview. There is a lot of good people out there that, you know, you know, have helped me, and I'm sure they've helped them, you know, as well through it. Um, yeah, I want to say thank you to all of them. Dallas is at home now from the rehab facility, but has a lot of therapy to go through still. There is a GoFundMe account set up for her, and you can go to wave3.com to help. Natalia Martinez, Wave News. Thank you, Natalia.